With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. ChumbaCasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Forward, prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Welcome to the Having It All podcast, the show about what it takes to live an abundant, loving life. My name is Matthew Bivens, and each week I'm helping you get out of your head so that you can truly have it all. Let's do it. What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the Having It All podcast. I am Matthew Bivens, your balanced lifestyle coach, and I'm here holding it down with you as we have a really beautiful, powerful conversation about having it all, A-L-L, abundant, loving life. That's what we're all about here. That's what this podcast is about, and that's a stance that I hold for myself and for you, that each and every one of us can have it all we can experience an abundant, loving life. Absolutely. And I know that because you are here listening, you believe in it too, or at least a part of you believes in it. And that's all we need, just one little ounce, one little ounce of you to believe that you can have it all and that life can be abundant and loving. That's all you need in order for it to happen. So thank you for joining me today. If this is your first time on the podcast, welcome, welcome. Thank you for for just checking it out, taking the risk investing a little bit of time. That is such a beautiful thing. I appreciate you. And I promise to do every single thing I can to help you get the most out of this conversation right now. So thank you for that. All right. Today's conversation, we're talking about having fun. Yes. We're talking about having fun in life, making life enjoyable. Fun is one of the the pillars of having it all. It's in the framework, which I'm going to get to in a little bit. Yet, So many of us don't make time to have fun regularly, don't believe that we should be making time to even have some fun, and as a result, we aren't having it all. We aren't thriving because we're leaving fun out of our lives. And so I'm going to talk to you today about how important it is to be injecting fun into your life, and I'm going to help you to actually make things fun that on their face are no fun at all, like going to the DMV or folding laundry because those things aren't fun for me, but I'm going to talk to you about how I make those things fun. So by the end of this conversation, you're going to walk away with a couple of tips that you can use to make it fun, to make life fun. That's going to be awesome. Let's kick things off with a little bit of magic, because I got so many magical moments. They're happening all over the place, and the more that I practice looking at them, the more that I experience them, and, and the more they just keep on flowing. That's, what, that's how it works. So again, magical moments are the times when you influence self, others, or life in an empowering way, and you've done it today. I guarantee it. You've created a magical moment today, and so all we're doing right now is we are holding space for each one of us to just recognize our own magical moments, and the piece of magic that I'm going to share to kick things off today is this past weekend... Our whole family, Sarah, Maya, and myself, we had a very, very magical weekend. So Maya had a sleepover with one of our, our friends, a family of ours that are a friend family, family friend. I don't know how you say it, but she slept at their house. They have a couple kids as well. And she had a blast. So such an amazing time. They took her fishing for the first time. They, they all cooked food together and baked and played games and wrestled and watched movies. They had a blast. And that gave Sarah and I an opportunity to just have some alone time, which was amazing. So we had all day Saturday, half the day Sunday, where it was just us. 
some some peace and quiet alone time connected intimate time and we took full advantage of it there was love making there was napping there was sitting in silence there was doing what we wanted to do there was sleeping in late there was all of it and it's just incredibly magical and and i think some specific magic from that is you know having built such a strong relationship with our our friends the jamesons that we are so comfortable with Maya sleeping over there. I mean, they were the first people that Maya slept over with uh, other than ourselves. And that to me is magical. It's incredibly magical because, you know, you've got blood family and you've got chosen family. And we are so grateful to both, to both our blood family and our chosen family. And in this case, it was the magic of chosen family who said, hey, we would love to take Maya and show her a great time and gives you and Sarah some some you know quiet time. So that was incredibly beautiful and magical. And, you know, it's also gratitude. It's all wrapped in there. All that stuff. It's all in the mix together. And that is my magic for today. So now it's your turn. You get a chance to reflect on a piece of magic in your life. And if you hear me say that every week and you just skip over this part, you just never do it. And you're like, okay, whatever, magic. I'm telling you, I really, really, truly believe this deep in my soul. The more time that you just carve out a few seconds to recognize a magical moment in your life, you are going to start seeing that your life truly is magical. It's perspective. You will see whatever it is you want to focus on. So if you want to focus on your life being crummy and people taking advantage of you and you being a victim... And if those are the glasses that you wear and that's the lens that you look through, then guess what? That's what you're going to see. But on the flip side, if you believe life is magical, if you believe that you are constantly influencing self, others in life in an empowering way, and you wear those glasses on, guess what? You see magic all over the freaking place. That's just how it happens. It's not personal. So if you skip over this and you don't actually hit pause, I'm telling you, you're missing out. Because you have the ability to walk around life with a smile on your face, with a full heart. Because you recognize that you have so many things to be grateful for. You recognize that you are so powerful that you can create those things that you have on your mind and in your heart. You can actually create them. You can actually experience them. And that's what happens when we pause and reflect. I'm t- I, I reflect on so much magic every week. It's one of my habits. When people say, Matthew... Okay, so you host this podcast called Having It All. Like, how do you have it all? Well, guess what? One way is to develop the habit of reflecting on magical moments. I'm serious. That is how you start to look at life as the amazing, abundant, loving, magical thing that it is, is you have to rep that muscle. You know, it's perspective. And it doesn't just happen. You got to be intentional about it. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW group. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Hey, guys. It is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun, too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino-style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere and each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. So that was my call to action if you skip this section because now is your opportunity to hit pause, reflect on some magic. How have you influenced self, others in life recently so that you can walk around knowing in your heart that you have it all? You don't have to listen to this podcast every week to get charged up with the energy because you walk around knowing that you have it. And then you you come here and you listen from a whole other vantage point. That's what happens. So reflect on that magic and then we're going to jump over to listener love because I appreciate you. I do right now. You listening. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. And I want to be able to, to, to shout you out and acknowledge you. And so 
sometimes you reach out to me and you hit me up on Instagram or you hit me up on my email. And I love it because that gives me an opportunity to say thank you. So today's listener love goes out to Jeffrey. Jeffrey, man, I appreciate you reaching out to me on Instagram and connecting and just sharing what's real for you. I think that's amazing. You know, man to man, you can just share what's real and what you're going through and all that, all that stuff, the, the great things and the not so great things, because we're all going through it. Like we're all going through some, something that's not fun right now. And the fact that you could connect with me and just share all of that stuff and then share like what you're doing to, to, to work on it or what you're doing to, as a result of being in a funky place, like that's what's up, you know? It's like, yeah, you know what? I'm experiencing this right now. And here's what I'm going to do to help get me out of that spot. That is such an awesome, proactive, you know, quality right there. Like that's what leaders do. We don't just sit and just feel it. We do something about it, even if it's reaching out for help. Because sometimes you can't pull yourself out of that hole by yourself. Sometimes you need the help of others. And so, Jeffrey, I appreciate you listening to the podcast, reaching out to me on Instagram, being courageous and vulnerable, and being proactive and doing stuff that you feel called to do. That's an awesome thing. So I appreciate you being the example, Jeffrey. Thank you so much. If you want to connect with me the way that Jeffrey did, get into a cool conversation, you can hop over to Instagram. I am at Matthew underscore Bivens. Or you can go over to my email, Matthew at MatthewBivens.com. I read them all. I reply to them all. Sometimes I like to do videos or voice notes or whatever. I just, I just I'm spontaneous like that. I like to have fun with it. And I just love getting into conversations with you. So if you want to connect, you can reach out. You can tell me whatever you want. You can say what's up. You can give me a podcast idea. You can share something about your life. You can give me, you can tell me your podcast sucks and I want you to delete it. <laughs> like, uh, whatever. Just reach out. It'll be cool. So do it in those two ways. And, uh, and you know, since I'm talking about calls to action right now to put my marketing hat back on. Uh, whatever device you're listening to this show on, why don't, it'd be cool if you hit subscribe or you just leave me a rating and review. Because again, I like to see that stuff and I like to read it. And uh, it really does help me to improve the show. So if you feel up for it, you can do that. That'd be a really cool way to pay it back, pay it forward. Or just to tell somebody else about the podcast. You know, that's a, that's a really awesome way to pay it forward. Like if you get something out of this show, share it with somebody. It's cool. Okay, let's talk about fun. I'm ready to talk about fun. Are you ready? Are you ready? You can't see me right now, but I'm standing up. And I have this, this uh, standing rig. <laughs> it's funny. It's not a st- it's, I literally have my microphone on top of two yoga blocks. But that's my standing rig when I want to stand up and feel energized and, and just bring a different energy into the podcast. And I felt like today's conversation was one where I wanted to do that because we're talking about fun. And I'm a fun dude. As a kid, I just love to play. I think every kid likes to play, right? But there was just something about play and lightness and playfulness and, and exploration that I carried with me into adulthood. It's one of the reasons why I was really excited to be a father. I was like, oh, man, I get a chance to play with my kid. Like, this is going to be the best. My toys are going to be her toys and her toys will be my toys and we're going to do all, you know, hide and seek and make believe and all that. And yep, that's what I love doing. And fun happens to be built into the having it all framework, the framework for having an abundant, loving life. Because if you look at the title of the show, A-L-L, the all stands for abundant, loving life. And the life portion, what that is all about is that's the, the six F's framework. That's what the life is about, six F's. Faith, family, friends, fitness, finance, and you guessed it, fun. And the reason why I put together or I adopted this framework, because it wasn't my own. I got this from the Your Day Balance game, the 6Fs framework. But the reason why I adopted it and put it into what I believe having it all is, is because for me, having it all is being intentional and proactive about making deposits in each one of those areas making sure that you are, you are acknowledging and doing something in each one of those areas of the six Fs. Faith, family, friends, fitness, finance, and fun. And the area that is so often overlooked 
is fun, particularly as we get older because we end up taking on more responsibilities. We've got more weight on our shoulders. There's more things that are causing anxiety and worry and frustration and depression and anger, right? There's just more of that stuff that we pile on. And so we think to ourselves, we can't be having fun. There's nothing fun about what's going on in the world right now. There's nothing fun about that. There's nothing fun about the state of my crummy relationship. There's nothing fun about that. There's nothing fun about what's going on in my body and the breakdowns I'm experiencing in my body. So no, I'm not, I'm not about to have fun. That's, that's irresponsible. It's immature. Like This is the stuff that comes up, right? But today I'm going to counter all that because you were made to have fun. As I already demonstrated, it came effortlessly for you as a kid, right? You were made to have fun. You were made to laugh. You were made to enjoy life. That's why having fun feels so good. <laughs> That's why laughing, like a deep belly laugh, it feels so satisfying. You know? Like when you're a kid, having fun was effortless. You don't have to teach a kid how to have fun. You don't have to teach a kid how to laugh. You don't have to teach a kid how to play. But as you got older, you started to take on the stress and the worry of your parents, of your guardians, of those adults around you who weren't dealing with the stress of their life in a powerful way. And so you started to wear it on. And guess what happened? Your connection with that playful side of you, that childlike side of you, it just started to erode. And the importance of fun in your life started to drop down the list until you began thinking of fun as trivial, unimportant, immature. I get it. I get it. You know, being a life coach for all these years, I have seen people relate to the concept of fun in so many different ways, right? They're, they're, I, I've worked with folks that's like, I can't have fun until I make a certain amount of money, right? Or I, I can't prioritize fun until I reach this type of milestone in my life, this personal milestone. Or I can't have fun and I can't make time for it in my day until my spouse is happy because right now they're unhappy, it would be unfair for me to be having fun while my spouse is unhappy. And that's one that I can personally relate to. I remember saying to myself, I can't be happy if she's not happy. And you know, I've, I've heard things like, it's not appropriate for a grown adult to be making time for fun when that time can be spent doing other things, making money, taking care of the house. Basically, that time could be spent with all the adult responsibilities. Heard it all. Heard it all. Said, even said some of that to myself. And you know what? Oftentimes we say these things because we're comparing ourselves to others. We're saying to ourselves, I got to work so hard to have a life that's as good as that person's life. And until my life is that good, I'm going to put off anything that is unnecessary, like fun. I got to grind. I got to hustle. I got to put in the hours right now so that I can have fun later. Look at what they have. I see what they're doing on Instagram. They're having so much fun. Well, you know what? They didn't just stumble across it. They worked hard for it. I got to work so hard so that I can get to a place where then I can have some fun. That's the catch-22, right? Catch-22 is that the great life that you're aiming for is a life where things are made fun. Not a life where, where vacations and you know, entertainment and recreation ha happen all the time. That's not, that's not what it is. It's a life where you create fun, where you inject play and levity into your day. It's the spirit of fun, the spirit of play and exploration and curiosity that's what you're looking to inject into your life. And quite frankly, that is the spirit of all those things that propel people to do amazing things in their lives that you then compare yourself to. I'll give you an example. I was listening to, I think it was Joe Rogan podcast, or I think that's what it was, because he was talking to Kevin Hart. Joe Rogan and Kevin Hart having a conversation, whatever podcast it was. And they're talking about how each of them view life as a game. All right, Kevin Hart was like, man, life is a game. That's what it is. And I just go out and I play it. 
And I get paid millions of dollars to play this game and to have fun at it. Like, that's how he was relating to it. That, like, it wasn't work. It wasn't hustle. It wasn't grinding. It was play. And play means you're having fun. Play means you're, you're adopting an intentional perspective. Like, you are seeking, like, you're like, okay, I'm setting out to play. A byproduct many times is having fun. And what the two, those two gentlemen were talking about, one of the things that is another side effect, you get paid millions of dollars. When you play your game at a high level, boom, people reward you for it. So having it all, this concept of an abundant loving life, remember, it's not about the stuff. It's not about the money. It's not about the personal accolades. It's not about the car, the size of your house, how much money your business makes. It's not about the, rec- the, 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 the validation you get from other people. It's not about your degrees or your certificates on the wall, any of that stuff. It's about how you feel. It's about the feeling that's behind those accomplishments. And it's about the experience of the process itself. So making all the money that allows you to buy all the stuff that you want that's going to feel empty if you, A, really dislike the person that you had to become in order to accomplish those things, and B, if you had no fun along the way. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing, and now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun, Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. Lucky Land Casino. Asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Now, you can, you can definitely survive without fun in your life. Absolutely. And you can do some impressive things. You can create some great things without any fun, but you're not going to thrive and you will not truly have it all without fun. So it's time now to do a real quick fun check-in. This is what I want you to do. I want you to ask yourself, how satisfied are you right now with the part of your life that is playful and joyful? How often do you experience fun? How often are you being intentional on injecting fun play, joy, into the other areas of your life, into the other Fs, faith, family, friends, fitness, finance? And are you injecting that fun in areas that are challenging for you, things that typically you don't find fun? That's the check-in I want you to do. I want you to ask yourself those questions. And if fun doesn't come naturally for you, then I got some tips for you. Because like I said, fun is one of those things that does come a little bit more naturally for me. And at the same time, there are things that I do intentionally to make sure that I'm having fun and I'm injecting fun in my life. So here are a few tips if fun doesn't come naturally for you. Tip number one, first, you just got to give yourself permission to have fun in the first place. Like you have to recognize those beliefs that you're holding on to that are saying fun is unnecessary or fun is immature. Whatever those beliefs are that are not allowing you to have fun, to be playful, to be light, to just let things go, to not take everything so serious, you got to recognize them. And then you have to give yourself some permission to let go. Permission to approach things with a playful attitude. I'll give you that permission right now. Like you have permission to have fun in life. You have permission to really enjoy life, enjoy the process, enjoy the experiences day to day, rather than saving that joy and that fun and that happiness until you accomplish something. So step number one, or tip number one is, you gotta give yourself that permission. Tip number two is, start saying yes 
when opportunities for fun are presented to you. If somebody asks you to do something that might be fun, say yes, rather than no, eh, don't have the time, doesn't really fit, eh, I can't make it work, too expensive. All those things that you do to shut down the flow of fun, start saying yes to them. Because those opportunities are all around you. Maybe sometimes you're walking somewhere and you think, oh, what if it would be fun to just skip? But you're like, no, I can't skip. I'm an adult. Adults don't skip. What am I talking about? I got to shut that down. Like That's what we do. So if you want to start injecting a little bit more fun, whenever you have an opportunity for some fun or an impulse to do something fun, playful, childlike, say yes to it. That's my second tip for you. My third tip is just let go of the idea that fun has to cost money, that fun has to be planned in advance, or that fun has to be really big, you know, because those three things can shut it down. If you think it costs money, if you got to sit down and plan for it, or if it's got to be something really spectacular, then you may not want to have fun. I get it. But here's the thing. Fun can be free. Fun can be spontaneous. And fun can be simple. So be looking out for ways that you can have free fun, spontaneous fun, or simple fun, and see where you can inject that into your day-to-day. And my last little tip for you is, when you have a task in front of you that just sucks, something you really don't want to do, or just generally isn't much fun, approach that task with the intention of making it fun. And the way you do that is you ask yourself a simple question. How can I make this fun? That's it. Like You can make things enjoyable simply by having the intention and the desire to make them enjoyable. Absolutely guarantee it. doesn't matter what it is. Because when you ask yourself the question, how can I make this fun? Your brain is going to automatically set off to try to figure out an answer to that question. How can I make this fun? Boom, your brain goes to work. Well, I could do it this way. I could bring this with me. I could call this person. I could approach it that way. Whatever it is, you ask yourself that type of question for any type of task that isn't fun, and there's a way for you to make it fun. So you can ask yourself, How can I make folding the laundry fun? How can I make going to the DMV fun? How can I make this date with my partner that I don't typically look forward to because we're having issues right now, how can I make that fun? How can I make it fun taking my kid and all their friends to the movies because it's their birthday and I really don't like carting around 12 kids, but you know what? I'm going to try to make this fun. How can I make grocery shopping fun? Because I really hate grocery shopping, but I got to do it. And every week I got to just drag my butt there. But you know what? How can I make this fun? Or maybe you're going to have to have a tough conversation with your your sibling. You really don't want to go there, but you got to. So it's like, all right, how can we make this fun? How can we make this more enjoyable? You ask yourself that question, you can absolutely come up with an answer and you can absolutely inject some fun, some lightness, some play, some levity into any situation. I'll give you some examples. I had two instances recently where there was things that I needed to take care of that I typically do not like at all. And so I asked myself the question, like I literally had the intention and said, okay, how can I make this fun? I don't want to do this. How can I make it fun? The first was taxes. You know, we all got to do our taxes, right? That for me typically is not fun. Sarah and I do our own taxes. We have TurboTax. We got all our paperwork. We typically have some, you know, some complicated stuff going on with our taxes. So we got to gather everything. We got to sit down. We got to make sure it's on a day when, when Maya's not around. It's not a lot of fun. So a couple of weeks ago when we did our taxes, we literally set the intention. Okay, I'm going to make this fun. This year, I'm going to have a different tax experience. I'm going to make this fun. What can I do to make this fun? So once we, we asked ourselves that question, we just went about figuring out, okay, how can we make this fun? Let's, let's set the environment. Like, you know, let's have some nice music playing. Let's choose a time of the day when we actually have energy rather than the time of the day. It's like, for us, it's the end of the day. That's when our energy starts to wane. So we're not going to do our taxes then. We'll do it in the morning when we've got a lot of energy. Let's turn the lights on. Let's open up the windows. Let's have a nice fun drink in front of us. Like, let's do whatever we need to do to create the environment. And so that's what we did. And we also said, okay, let's work together. 
right? Let's, you have a spreadsheet open, I'll have my stuff, you got your calculator, and we'll just ping pong back and forth on these taxes and we'll knock them out. And then we said, when we're done, we're gonna go out to dinner. We're gonna go out to dinner tonight to reward ourselves for this abundance that we have the pleasure of looking at when you do our taxes. And guess what? We had a great time. Doing our taxes did not suck this year. It was actually fun. And it was because we set that intention beforehand. Here's my second example. Earlier in the year, I had to go to the DMV to get some tags for a new car. And that process is rarely ever fun, right? Going to the DMV, you never know how long it's going to be. Almost always have to wait in line. The people there, you know, sometimes folks bring their stuff and just dump their junk at the DMV. So the, the energy there is not always the most uplifting. And I said, all right, cool. Well, how can I make this fun? I want to be light. I want to be grateful for the fact that these men and women are here to help me. I want to be grateful for the car that we have. So what can I do to make this fun? And I said, okay, well, you know, sometimes you got to wait for a long time in the DMV. What do I want to do? I want to read a book. So a few days before going to the DMV, I went to the library, got a book that I was really excited about, and I waited to crack it open once we got to the DMV. And so that made the experience fun. I had my book. Sarah had her book. We just chilled out. You know, our number was, we saw our number, and it was like, your number is 137. And I look up, and, you know, they're only calling number 14, right? And you think, dang, okay, I want to be here forever. But we just chilled, and I think we even had snacks, too. That makes life fun for me when I have food and snacks. And so we were intentional about injecting some fun into an experience that typically is not fun. That's what you got to do. If something is not fun in your life, you can make it fun, right? A small little ounce of intention can make a huge difference in how you experience something and how you experience your life overall. It's about being intentional. Ask that question. How can I make this fun? Right? Because a lot of, sometimes like you have to be the one to go and do it. It's not just going to happen all the time. And if you're being proactive and if you're being intentional, with your life. That means that you are in the driver's seat. Your hands are on the wheel and you're going to steer that thing wherever you want to go. I know for me, fun is important. I want to enjoy my life. I want to enjoy the things that typically people do not get enjoyment out of. Right? I want to look back on a day that might be full of just adult responsibility, stuff that you got to do. You got to take care of it. And I want to still look back on it and be like, man, I had fun today. I brought lightness and playfulness and fun into everything that I touched today, right? And fun is a part of the framework of having it all. It's injected right in there, abundant, loving life, the six Fs, faith, family, friends, fitness, finance, and fun. So if that's an area that's uncomfortable for you, just know, I just want you to know that you can do something about it. You can take small steps. It doesn't have to be big, giant things. It can be small steps. And you can actually recapture the fun in your life that you are meant to have. Because we are all meant to enjoy life. We are all meant to have fun. And if it's not totally obvious and apparent as to where the fun is in your life, then you can create it. And it's up to you to do that. So, I'm excited for you. I'm looking forward to what happens in your life as you go forth and use this new tool use this new perspective, or just use the new question of how can I make this fun? I'm excited for what's going to happen and the magical moments you're going to create. Thank you once again for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you have any feedback, any topic suggestions, just want to reach out and say what's up, you can do so again, Instagram, Matthew underscore Bivens, or you can go to my email address, Matthew at MatthewBivens.com. Get in touch with me. I'd love to hear your thoughts, particularly around fun, right? How are you making your life fun? Where do you struggle with fun? All of that stuff. Share it with me. I'd love to hold that space for you. Okay, that's it for me today. Have a wonderful rest of your life. I appreciate you. I love you. Again, my name is Matthew Bivens, your Bounce Lifestyle Coach. I'm going to catch you later. Here's to you having it all. Peace. Quick note about the Having It All podcast. I am not a doctor nor a licensed therapist. I'm a guy with a story and a passion for conscious conversation. My thoughts, opinions, and beliefs are my own. So please consult with your doctor or healthcare provider 
regarding any questions or issues you have related to your personal, physical, or mental health. 